What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to another 239 Flies DIY video. Today we're going to be tying a very popular pattern, a uh, little EP minnow bait fish style guy. Um, really effective pattern everywhere. Uh, it's not a ton of action, but a phenomenal profile. Uh, you know, everything eats a bait fish. And this is something that you can tie up. It's a little more, uh, I don't want to say it's a more advanced fly, but it's certainly one that you can spend six and a half hours trimming if you want to. Um, a lot of this fly is just afterwards trimming it. We'll show you some tips and some tricks on how to do it, but you can fish this fly anywhere. This is, you can tie this in 18 million different colors if you wanted to and trim it to any size, shape, configuration, whatever you want. You can get kind of carried away with it, but I'm gonna show you how we, uh, how I've been tying it lately and maybe you will too. So let's do it. All right, so uh, this pattern you can do with you know one or two EP fibers uh, and some some flash. We're going to use two today. We're going to use the the black and the purple 3D blends, and we're also going to use uh, for flash the Thunderstruck brush. Uh, we're going to switch to butts. Nick. What's up, Brody? Did you bring tacos? Nah. Oh, come on. We're going to bring uh, tacos to the party. Um, thunderstruck brush. We're eventually going to uh, replace this with um, the flash, but today we're going to be using this. It's easy. I'll show you how to do it. And then when we switch, I'll show you how to do that too. It's nothing to it. So um, we're uh, we're going to tie this on a Tiemco 600 SP size one. Um, this is a pattern I like to throw at tarpon, especially the juveniles. Um, and this is a really good hook. It's expensive. I know you might have to sell a kidney to, you know, grab a pack of these, but, you know, I sold six of my kidneys so I could buy six packs of them, and it's the best move I ever made. So let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to lay down a base layer of mono thread again. Unfortunately, we're tying with mono, but we're tying with mono. Learn to love mono. Get you a, a vise that'll, or a, a bobbin that'll adjust the thread tension, and you'll start loving mono a little bit more. Uh, invader brush in four and a half inch. Doesn't matter really size, but um, size doesn't matter in this case. We're just gonna tie in some, some bleeding gills on this fly. This color scheme, it's not gonna stand out super well, um, but you know, it's nice to know it's there. The fish will appreciate it. So we'll just cut off a little bit of this, bend it over. Again, this is an optional step. You can skip this step. This brush is not included in the kit, but it's, uh, it's nice. If you want to go that extra mile, and you're just going to tie this in on top of the hook shank, out the back, and then just trim it off, just like that. We're going to grab our first batch of colors. This is the EP uh, 3D fibers in purple. And we're going to grab a little bunch off of here. If you don't have these on a zip tie, be sure you put a zip tie on them when you take them out of the package. It'll save you a lot of frustration. And you're going to use, about when it's condensed, uh, about a matchstick. Trim this off. And then when we tie this on, we're going to tie it, we're going to basically imagine that we have divided this hook shank into quarters. And that's how we're gonna work when we're tying this fly in. So we're gonna put the first bunch and we're gonna run it down the top of the hook, down like the left top quarter. And we're gonna put a few wraps in it. And we're gonna to try to make this to where it's, um, we're giving ourselves enough room to bend this back over. And I'll show you here in a second. So we've tied forward eh, maybe a 16th of an inch. And then we're gonna grab this other end pull it back down and tie it back over, a little V-wrap. And now this first bunch should be on the entire top of the hook shank. So if we, if we look down it this way, the first bunch is tied on the top half. I might be over explaining that, but I also might be under explaining that. We'll find out uh, in the emails here shortly. So we'll flip this over. And then before moving your thread forward, you're going to take a little bit of this Thunderstruck brush and we're going to take just a little piece of it. We're going to cut it with our uh, flush cutters. Save your scissors. 
and we're just going to cut a little section of it and we're just going to tie this in underneath of the purple. Just a couple of wraps. Don't go too crazy. This is, this is a fly where less is more. Less thread wraps are better. And then we'll move our thread forward. We're going to leave the fly inverted. Pretty stoked about the new, uh, new Top Gun movie coming out. Speaking of inverted, we're going to grab our purple again. Same thing. We're going to use about a matchstick or a toothpick's worth condensed. And we're going to repeat this step. Now that we've got the hook inverted, same thing. Top quarter that's close to us. Tie it over. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. And then we'll bend this. Make sure you get all this knot in your way. And we'll bend this back around and tie this up on this side. And trim this off. Take our lice brush, comb this together, twist, good to go. Okay, we're gonna leave our thread over top of this little bunch this lovely mono thread bunch and we're going to tie in just another little piece of flash right on top of there. Lift this up, be careful not to cut your thread and we're just going to trim off the little piece of wire and then we'll move our thread forward. Okay, so now we've got the, the tail basically tied in, now we're going to start building the top. Uh, and the bottom at the same time. So we'll grab our black 3D fibers for this color. The same thing, about a matchstick or a toothpick condensed, cut it off, and then just match it up on this side. Top quarter again, about five wraps up. Stacking these next to one another. And then, just make sure you get all these fibers together, back down the other side. And then move your, oh, don't move your thread forward yet. Cut this off. Another little piece of flash. Pinch that down. Split it with the, uh, or use the hook to kind of split your fibers. If you got a really unruly guy in there, just pull it out. We don't need that. And then we're going to tie this in right underneath of the black fibers, that little thread hump that we created. You can always just use your fingers to, to get it in there just right. All right, so now we're back on top again. I'm sorry, we're not on top. We're still on the bottom. I keep confusing that. Chances are you're going to confuse that too. Probably not. It's probably just me. It's not you, it's me. Another little bunch of purple. Cut this off. Put about five wraps in there like such. Now you can really kind of tailor this pattern to whatever hook you're using. If you're using a longer hook shank and a bigger hook for, you know, bigger tarpon, you're obviously going to tie in more clumps of material. If you're using a smaller hook, you know, let's say for smaller tarpon, because tarpon are really all we care about around here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is a very effective redfish fly too, and snook. Uh, you're just going to use less clumps. Grab your other little bunch of red flash, tie it in right on top of this one. Just three or so thread wraps. Nice, the phone's ringing. That's good. It's probably another telemarketer. Yeah, we get, yeah it's probably another telemarketer. Now we're kind of running out of space here, so we're going to use a little bit less on this one because we're still going to do one more on each. So 
This one's just a little bit less. Top quarter. Oh, EJ, you want to take my credit card just in case? That way, if they stop you. Yeah, that way, if they, I don't think they're going to stop you, but. All right, so spin this over. We're ordering subs here. This is very important. This is very important business. Pat's hungry. He's got to hold this camera up all day. He's got an appetite. All right, so now we'll flip this back over. Do another little red here. All right, so we'll tie this in here, right on the bottom, right on that same bunch of thread. Again, don't get carried away adding a lot of material here at the end, especially on the bottom. The bottom you want to keep super sparse. And same thing. We're just going to tie this off, put about five wraps on it. It should take it right to the eye of the hook. Four or five wraps on it to the eye of the hook. And then back over. This little bunch, you're, you want to use less thread wraps because when you flip it over, the flash on there, and then we're going to put the last color right on top of it. So you got to go really light on the thread wraps on the last bunch because we're not going to move the we're not going to move the thread forward anymore. We're just going right on top. A little bit of flash. One, two, three. Go light. That's all I'm saying. Get out of here. I don't need that. We're done with that. So hold this right where she's going on the end. Again, top quarter. One, two, three. And then we'll bend this back over. And we'll put three on this side. Just enough to hold it in place because we're going to whip finish. Which is going to take some, uh, which is going to put a few thread, put a little thread on the nose for us. Two, three, four, and with mono thread, it's always a good idea to double up on that whip finish. Three will be good there. All right, that's it. We got ourselves a paintbrush. Grab your lice, lice brush and just comb all this together. And that's going to line these fibers up. You comb your hair in the morning, don't you? Make it look nice, hopefully, maybe. If you don't have hair, I get it, but, you know, those of us that do have hair, you had hair at one point, and you combed it in the morning. Same thing with the fly. All right. So for right from here, we're just going to pull those guys out because they're not, they're not cooperating, and we don't need them. We're going to take this fly, and we're going to kind of portion these fibers out so they're fanned out, and we're going to start trimming. I like to kind of trim the bulk at first and then I'll come back but always make sure you leave you know don't just go in there hot right out of the gate and take you know all your fly off that's a good way to start over from scratch now is when you're gonna start trimming if you have um, depending on what scissors you're using these six inch scissors make all the difference um, another little pro tip shared with us by uh, EJ these longer scissors make a world of difference when trimming bait fish flies. Plus they're a little serrated, they grab the material very nicely and you can really put a nice taper on it. You can use the four inch guys too, um, but these, I'm, I'm very partial to these, these six inch serrated scissors. I know they're expensive, but I mean like fly fishing is like the second most expensive thing to a drug addiction. Not that I have a drug addiction, but I do have a fly fishing addiction, which is a problem. All right, so keep going. Let's not get carried away. Sorry, kids. I'm not that sorry. And we're just going to trim this guy up, and you can spend literally days trimming this fly. That's the profile that we're going for. That looks nice. I'm excited about that. It only took about 14 hours. That's good. 
should take us, you know, at this pace, we can get a dozen done by winter. Brace yourself. And our eyeballs. I'm going to use orange on these. Makes a nice little uh, Halloween kind of style pattern. Now, resist the temptation to put the eyes right here. You want to go back a little bit. You want to find the hook shank. And you kind of want to go back maybe halfway down the hook shank. Right about there. Don't glue your finger on there. Very important. And then just kind of track it over and find the other side and put a little dab on there. You can put your eyes, you can put your zap gel on there, you know, on your eyes and then stick them on, but I find that that's a good way to get them on there. Um, symmetrical, symmetrically. Symmetrical, symmetrically. I'm a fly tire, not a grammar specialist. Oh gosh, I dropped my eye. All right. So ever so gently slide these on into place and then use the back of your bodkin and push it down onto the hook shank. That's looking pretty good. Flip it over. Rinse and repeat. If you got a little zap gel on your on your bodkin, just be careful that you don't get it on your fingers. Really, Nick? Today. Today. All right. So just drop it into place. There we go. And now use your bodkin to push it down. Whew. That was more challenging than it should have been. Take a little UV, uh, a little loon outdoors, UV thin, and put a little spot on there. Not too much. We'll work it around with our bodkin. Spin it around, let it even out, and then zap it. Turn your light off. Pro tip, you have to, on these lights, you have to, you know, you have to hold, push them down real quick to start them, but then you got to hold it down for three seconds to turn them off. It's not broken. And there it is. A little EP minnow bait fish. I'm going to spend another six hours trimming this.